Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there in YouTube land. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be working on my Dell Precision and it's the M6500 laptop. And today we're going to get a little bit of an upgrade. So right now we're looking at my Dell Precision M6500 laptop. I use this thing for everything. All the video editing, music, you know, using it for my guitar stuff. So right there is uh, Gearbox, Pod Farms. I also use it for the video editing got the software right here now as you can see that my desktop is pretty bare compared to other people I don't do a lot of gaming at all I would say I don't do any gaming at all but uh, I don't like clutter on my desktop so I have basically all the essentials that I need and if I need anything else well here's all my audio tools so that's all categorized with everything that I need. If I'm looking for guitar tools, you know, I've got everything here as far as guitar tools. And, you know, I kind of keep things uh, nice and tidy. Well, so far I've been noticing that I've been having some problems with the computer. And come to find out that it looks like I got some memory modules that went bad. So instead of being 16 gigs of memory, uh, I've got 12 gigs. And so I probably have one module that went bad. Now, I've had this thing for a long, long time now. And uh, it's been a great laptop. I mean, it's been a really, really great laptop. So I can't really complain too much about it. But I noticed that uh, rendering and stuff like that has been kind of slow. So let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. And so we have a Intel R Core and this is an i7 CPU uh, X490 at uh, 2.13 2 gigahertz and uh, yeah so this is a 64-bit operating system and right here is my memory for RAM and it says 12 gigs so first thing I need to do with this thing is to shut it down All right, so first things first here, I have to unplug my input, unplug my camera, unplug the USB uh, UX2, unplug my line in for the internet, move my camera out of the way, shut the top, unplug the power supply. All right. All right, so I need to access underneath the keyboard because there are two modules underneath the keyboard for memory. And the easy way to do that is to remove this top panel, which has your power and everything, which I already have. Move that out of the way. And it might be a good idea to do a little dusting in here. So you have four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here that removes the keyboard. Now how to remove this keyboard, it just slides forward and pulls up. And that's it. That's all it is. That's your keyboard. Now you can see, pretty dusty. So I'm going to end up cleaning that out. Now here are your two modules for memory. So what I want to do is I want to remove these modules by pushing the, each tab and they pop up like this. And just remove the module. And at the same time, I'm going to end up cleaning the sockets. This is a good time to have there. Do not let your fans free float when you're blowing them out. You mess up the fans. All right, so what I've got here is new memory modules. Kind of nice, brand new. D2 
DDR3 these are 8 gigs of RAM each one of these so what I want to do is I'm going to put this in this bottom slot God, my eyes are bad I can't see the slot all right so those two memory modules are in place so let's slide this thing back into place now you got there's some spots on here that slide underneath here too so you want to make sure that they're all intact like right here is a little bit high something's not lining up properly So go ahead and put the screws back in place here. Remove the battery. There are two screws underneath here. Slide this back and it opens up. Alright, so here are your other two memory modules. So I want to kind of blow this thing out a little bit. I've already changed out the BIOS battery. And there's one module, there's the other module. So I'm putting 32 gigs inside of here, which is the maximum that this laptop can take for Windows 7. Slide these guys in. And this one goes this way because of the key. Alright, so we should be in. And I could put this cover back on. Now, I don't know which set of chips are bad, but one of these modules is for shit. So I'm going to put my battery back on, flip this thing over. All right, so first boot might take a few. So let's go ahead and power her on. Get her started here. Let it do its memory test. And that's going to take a few minutes. All right, so I ran through its memory check. It brought up the prompt about the change of memory and everything is up and going now. So let's see here. Everything looks like it's good. Nothing looks like I'm having any problems with it. And now I should say that I have 32 gigs of RAM. And there should be no issues, no problems or anything else. So let's see how fast Gearbox pops up. Nice. Let's see, internet pop up. And I got a bunch of notifications. So that's good. Uh, Cyberlink, let's see how fast that pops up. I got some updates. Let's see. I don't need any of that crap. All right, so that's working good. Uh, I guess this is all right. So let's see how fast Cakewalk starts up. Nice. I don't need any of this. 
All right, so Cakewalk starts up. I already have a file set up here for Cakewalk. Loading everything it needs to load. Oh, there you go. All right. Everything looks like it's all going. Security is on. Yep. So I'm going to do a restart. <laughs> Computer's off. Starting to reboot, I hope. So it looks like there's no complaints, no problems, everything's working and functioning properly. Showing 32 gigs of RAM. And so that's how you change out memory on a Dell Precision M6500. And everything should be loading down here. Yep, there it goes. Everything's loaded. Virus software loaded. So I should be able to click and go around the internet. Yep. Love this thing. All right, folks. So that's another boring video of how to do a little bit of an upgrade on your computer in case you have any memory module problems or just want to do a simple upgrade. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great weekend.